Hi, Shannon here from houseimprovements.com. Uh, I'm going to explain to you in this video here how to two different methods on how to insulate around uh, a window. So that's actually insulating the gap that's uh, left between the framework and the window frame itself. Uh, there's basically two methods. One method involves uh, bad insulation that you they call it chinking. So you'll uh, actually slide this into place in the, in that space. Uh, the other method and the one that I prefer to use is uh, spray foam. Now you have to be sure you're using a low expanding spray foam made for around windows and doors. Uh, you don't want one that says filling gaps or anything like that or high pressure. You're just going to have a mess because it'll actually uh, bend your window jams and, and door jams out of shape. So you, you want the low expansion foam, uh, one that's made for windows and doors. So we're going to start with that one to begin with. So we've got a window here and uh, we've got two, two by six framing. Uh, so the spray foam comes with a straw and everything. Shake the can really well before you start to use it. Um, I like to do my spray foam in two passes. So that being said, what I mean is I want to stick the straw into the, back into the gap about an inch from the outside edge of the window, the, back, the far side of the window. Spray that opening about half full. Let it sit for a couple hours or you don't even have to do that, half an hour say, you know, go and do every window half full, then come back and spray again to fill that window up. What that does is that then when the foam, you know, you're going to get some that comes outside of the opening that you need to trim off with your knife. As soon as you trim it, it cuts off the outer layer that actually creates an air barrier. So by doing it in two passes, the inner one still creates an air barrier for, you know, three quarters of the thickness of the window. And, uh, you know, this last one is giving R value, but not necessarily uh, air barrier. So I like to do it in two passes. We're going to do this one here. I'll just show you how to, how to go about it. I've got another one that I've already done one pass on. So then we'll switch over to that window and just show you the final pass. So again, uh, I usually start in a, in a bottom corner and work my way up. And uh, I want to stick the straw right back in there just about as far as I can, like I said, about an inch or two inches from the, from the far outside edge of the wall and start filling. Okay, and you'd continue all the way up to the top, come back down to the bottom, work around any blocks or shims you have in the way. just like so and, and you'd continue on doing that all the way around the window and like I said you're wanting to fill that maybe half full or three quarters full now uh, it will expand out a little bit so usually if you stop at about half full it'll expand enough to about three quarters and, and you should be good so uh, we're just gonna quickly reset the camera a couple windows over at one that I already did with the first pass so we can show you the second pass okay so we've moved over to a different window and this one, like I said, I already sprayed the first uh, pass in, and I don't know if you can really see it on the camera, but you can see some of the foam down in there. So now what I want to do again is just insert the straw and uh, do another, another bit of a pass here. And up the side as well. And like I said, uh, you would continue yourself all the way around there. Uh, once, once that has a chance, uh, most of these will cure within a couple hours. And you'll find that it expands out past the window. Uh, just go back and trim it off with your uh, utility knife once it's fully cured. If you get some of this on your hands or your clothes or hopefully not the flooring, but if you get some on there, uh, I know it's hard not to, but don't try to wipe it up when it's still wet. Let it cure and then get rid of it. If you get it on your hands, obviously you're going to want to clean it up right away, but uh, uh, it's a lot easier to clean off a of flooring or the wall or anything if it's actually had a chance to cure. Otherwise you just smear it and make more of a mess. So, so that's spray foaming uh, to insulate a window. Now we're going to move back to another window that we don't have any insulation in and uh, we're going to actually use strips of bad insulation. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, okay so now the second method, uh, which really I don't really recommend. I usually use the spray foam method myself, but the second method is using a uh, fiber bad insulation to uh, insulate the, uh, the space in, around the windows or doors. Um, so what you want to do is whatever your width of your 
space is here between the window jam and the framing, you want to rip off a piece of insulation about twice that thickness. So we've got about a half inch or three, three quarter inch gap here. I've got about an inch of thickness. Uh, then I've cut it into width. We're, we've got a two by six wall. So I've cut this at about five, five and a half inches. And uh, what you really need is that insulation and some kind of flat utensil in order to uh, help slide it and guide it back in there. Um, I like to use a flat red bar. I use a red bar for a lot of things you'll notice in my videos. Uh, you could use a butter knife, a ruler, whatever. Whatever fits back in that opening. So uh, what you want to do, well, first of all, what you don't want to do is just start, I've seen lots of people just ram in as much stuff as they can in there and think, well, I've got it full now, I can't get anything else in, it's good. That's the worst thing you can do because this type of insulation, once you get it too compressed, you actually have lost your insulating value in it. So what we're trying to do is actually take this piece, that's why we've taken the time to make it the right size, and, and slide it straight back in there as much as we can. Now it does take a bit of fiddling to get it in there, but uh, uh, that's why we've got the red bar. So basically start by just getting it folded on the red bar a little bit and starting it in there. And once you, once you have it in there, unless you've got a really tight spot, you can almost pinch it and just slide it right back. And you can kind of tell if you're getting it all balled up or not once you start doing a few of them. Kind of work it from the back side, the front side, whichever way seems to work the best. Get it all in there nice and, and uh, you can see it's, well, I don't know if you can see, but uh, I'll do the bottom to show you better, but it's just all nicely fit in there and uh, does, a, does a real nice job. Um, so same thing on the bottom. We're just going to start it in there. We've got a shim on the one side here to work around, so we're starting at that shim. I'm trying not to bunch it up. I'm just working it along there until I can tell that I've got it right back to the edge. And it looks good. It's not just all rammed in there and hanging out and snagged up. Um, so like I said, uh, I, I don't really like to use this method if I don't have to. Uh, about the only time I do is if I've got a really large gap in a renovation or something. You know, we've changed the size of the window. Because of the cost of the spray foam, it's usually not that effective if, you know, we've got a two inch gap to fill. It takes a lot of foam. Uh, what I have done is use, use the bad insulation to fill three quarters of that gap and then I'll maybe spray, spray foam to the inside because it creates that air seal and kind of finishes it off so it's kind of a hybrid between the two but for most times when you've got a half inch or three quarters of an inch or whatever or less uh, I'll use the spray foam for sure. Um, yeah so that's, that's about all there is to either one of those methods. Should be good. Okay, so thanks for watching another one of the, my videos. Uh, we have lots online to, to view. Uh, we have videos on installing these actual windows. Uh, in new construction, we've got uh, installing renovation type windows, um, all kinds of different things. So if you check out our whole YouTube channel, there's 30 or 40 or I don't even know how many videos are on there now. Um, we've also got the website at houseimprovements.com. We've got the forum on the website where you can come and ask any questions or make any comments you want. Um, so yeah, just uh, come and check it out and let us know what you think.